gravity is the universe's ultimate sculptor. It pulls everything towards the center, just like how when you drop your phone, it always hits the ground. Screen first, of course. Think of gravity like a cosmic tug-of-war where every particle is pulling towards the center. The only shape where all points are equally close to the center is a sphere. It's nature's way of achieving perfect balance. All of this starts way back when planets and stars are formed. After the Big Bang, dust and gas started sticking together in space, forming little clumps. As these clumps got bigger, their gravity pulled in more and more material. Eventually, they got so massive that gravity smoothed them out into a nice round ball, like the planets and stars we see today. But here's something that might blow your mind. Meet Kepler 11145123 a star that's the most spherical natural object we've ever discovered. Scientists measured its shape using a technique called astroseismology. Basically, they listened to the star's vibrations, like cosmic music. Despite rotating, this star is almost a perfect sphere, even more so than our Sun. Back to Earth, our planet isn't a perfect sphere. It's slightly squashed at the poles because it spins. This flattening happens because as Earth rotates, centrifugal force pushes outwards at the equator. Now, take Saturn. It spins so fast that it bulges even more, about 10% thicker around the middle. But rotation can do even crazier things. Meet Haumea, a dwarf planet shaped like an egg. It's spinning so rapidly that it's elongated, defying the typical spherical shape. Imagine spinning a ball of pizza dough the faster you spin, the more it stretches out. And then there are the cosmic oddballs. Smaller objects like asteroids and some moons don't have enough gravity to pull themselves into spheres. They end up looking like lumpy potatoes or misshapen rocks. Fun fact, out of almost 300 moons in our solar system, only about 20 are spherical. The rest are, let's say, uniquely shaped. So, why do only large objects become spheres? It all comes down to hydrostatic equilibrium, a fancy term meaning the object's gravity is balanced by the pressure pushing outward. In large planets and stars, gravity pulls in while the object's own pressure pushes out, creating a smooth spherical shape. In smaller objects, gravity isn't strong enough to overcome the rigidity of the material, so they keep their irregular shapes. But let's get back to our superstar, Kepler 11145123. What's astonishing is that despite being a gas giant like our Sun, it's even rounder. Its slow rotation rate reduces the flattening effect we see in other stars and planets. But if something spins fast enough, it can get really wild. Some stars spin so fast that their shape warps and stretches. In extreme cases, they could spin so fast that they might even rip themselves apart. Yeah, that's what we call taking things too far. But there's an even stranger story about one of the most extreme objects in the universe, the neutron star. Neutron stars are born when massive stars explode in supernovae, and what's left behind is a tiny, incredibly dense core. Now here's where it gets wild. Some neutron stars spin so fast, up to 700 times per second, that they start warping space around them. Yeah, we're not talking about shaping themselves. They're literally bending the fabric of space-time. This takes spherical to a whole new level. Ever heard of a neutron star so dense it could fit the mass of the sun into a city-sized sphere? It's not just the perfect shape that makes them interesting but their extreme gravity is so intense it can even trap light itself. They're incredibly dense and have gravity so strong that despite spinning at thousands of rotations per second, they're some of the most spherical objects in the universe. Talk about peer pressure. Gravity doesn't let them bulge out. So while gravity is constantly working to make everything round, the universe is full of surprises. Spin a little too fast and you end up with a bulging planet or an almost destroyed star too small, and you're a lumpy asteroid floating through space. It's all a delicate balance between gravity, mass, and how fast something spins. And that, my friends, is why everything tries to be spherical in the universe. But not everything gets it right. 
Don't forget to watch the video on the right and subscribe. Thanks for being part of Cosmonology.